Yeah, it's, yeah. You be thinking, man. Just get it out there, man. Like, hey, man. <laughs> Wait this, a minute. I am Yogi the Shooter. I'm out here, blah, 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 from the DMV. That's another thing you do. A lot of stuff moving. What? You do, you do a lot of movement with your hands and, like, us and us. I saw it in your last joint. Or d'oeuvres before the dinner I relish under the pressure To show my dogs that I'm hot Wasn't no better Chase buns The flakiest I would butter up Bad intentions Crusty without a question Got a couple of toppers That really need some addressing Spicy What's up y'all? It's your favorite shooter's favorite shooter We're back again Took a break from YouTubing and posting videos through YouTube. You know, 2020 got crazy, as most of us know, as all of us know. And I really hit a creative block where it's hard for me to, to, to get in the mood to produce content. Talking to a lot of my, my favorite creators, friends, associates, um, a lot of them struggle with the same thing as well. So I figured I'd make a YouTube video to talk about the process, um, get it through it, and you should mentally stand in the game as a creative, I'm constantly creating content for myself and for others. Before we go any further, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share it on platforms. The goal is to get this in front of as many faces as possible. As black creatives, we don't typically have a lot of people that look like us sharing information, sharing gems and secrets on what they do to stay engaged, consistently create at a high level, um, like I said, for ourselves and others. So. Um, if this information helped you or it can help somebody that you can know, please share it, like, subscribe again. When talking about creative blocks, I think it's important not only to talk about how and when they happen, but talk about why they happen as well. And for me, like, social media plays a big part in that. Right? You see our friends doing amazing things, they're successful at what they do, they get acknowledgement for it. That can get intimidating. Um, especially when you're trying to compare yourself to others and, and really put yourself in the shoe other than what you're already in. There's a quote, um, one of my favorite movies, Coach Carter, where Samuel L. Jackson kind of gets into in talking about, you know, our deepest fear being not that we're inadequate, but, you know, we're more powerful than we believe. And some of that plays a factor in running into issues with our own creativity, right? We, we psych ourselves out and we think too deeply about us and the execution, and instead we should just be having fun with it, letting it flow, sticking to our, our inner child, and understanding that's just part of the game. Balance is key in life in general, but also in creativity. There are gonna be ups, right? We're gonna have the most fun, we're gonna have an, an, a great time, right? There's gonna be downs, there's gonna be lows, there's gonna be moments where we can't think of things. There's gonna be moments where we're in a rut, we're not feeling our content, our creativity um, as much as others, but that just means it leaves opportunity for us to try something new, experiment, have fun with it again. At the end of the day, with success comes struggle. Um, again, that's just part of the game all about keeping it fun. Photography is an art. It is just as much hobby as it is passion. And I think as photographers, we are fortunate enough to have found our passion, found something that we love to do no matter what. And I think you're doing ourselves a disservice to get to a point with work or business where we lose that ability to find the fun in it. Something that we did amongst my friend group early on in my shooting career was we would take challenges. Today, we would all go out, grab a camera, and the challenge would be red, right? Shoot something with the color red that told a story that was exciting, that was intriguing, and then compared and laughed. There was no winners, no real contest, but it made photography fun. It kept the fun in it. That not only helps with a daunting task of having to pick up the camera and, and, and do something for somebody else, you get to do it for yourself, but it also fights off the creative haziness a little bit as well. The main habit that I tried to create for myself in 2020 was to create before I consume. Before I go look at somebody else, before I go pay attention to a movie or Netflix or pick up Instagram or Twitter, I would try to create something. It doesn't have to be anything big, nothing outrageous, but maybe edit five photos for the day. Or if it was finding new ways to present my photos to the public. Um, just creating something helped me stay in a creative mindset so that when I was ready to create, 
I didn't really run into too many issues of a creative block. Another thing that helps is consuming differently. A lot of times we find what works for us as far as creation goes and inspiration and we typically stick with that. But sometimes our minds run dry of looking at the same things and it's hard to find inspiration. And what I do is if usually I go watch a movie, instead I'll read a book. If it's usually an action movie instead of an action movie this time, it's something serious. Sometimes I go for an animation. If it's music, I'll listen to a podcast. If it's an interview, I'll watch BTS instead. Something that'll trick my mind into to viewing and consuming but doing it in a way that's new and fresh and, and keep ideas flowing for the next time and yeah that's pretty much it I don't want to downplay it too much because it is something that happens to a lot of us but at the end of the day it goes away right so it's all about finding ways to overcome it um, staying positive while overcoming it and just realizing that it's part of the game that's it so I got for y'all life and love peace oh and before I forget if you have topics that you want to hear me talk about, if there are subjects that you struggle with as a creator, if you have friends or associates or family members getting into photography and they don't really know where to start, leave comments in the section um, and I'll try to get to topics or suggest things that can help with that process as well. Again, life and love. Peace. Alright, boom. Happy New Year. Hope everybody's doing alright. It is January, and getting back into this vlogging thing, trying to do it more heavily, trying to give y'all more content, more day in the life um, of what it takes and what it's like to be a professional photographer, because um, a lot of people don't see it, they just think it's all glitz and glamour, um, and that we just play and have fun all day, um, but this shit is stressful as fuck, as everybody that knows. Everyone that's a, that's a photographer in this industry, dealing with clients, booking clients, picking up clients, finding new clients, dealing with companies, dealing with models, dealing with other photographers, dealing with other creatives, other artists. On the way to the dojo, stay tuned.